Hello, this is Aaron Wall, and uh, this is a video about uh, optimizing your page titles and on-page headings to rank better and pull in more traffic from search engines. So when people search on search engines, there tends to be a, a path of consolidation of attention right at the top. And if you think about what search engines do, like when Google launched Instant to try to autocomplete people's queries, um, what they're trying to do is they make it as fast as possible, have people click right up top, get as much attention as they can up there because that's where they have a lot of ads on the page. And the power of the top listing or the top few listings is, is so strong that so many people click up there that people have done studies where they switched the number one and number two results. And when they switched them, people still typically clicked the number one result, even though the best result was moved down to number two. And this is from uh, old AOL data from a few years back, but is the number one rank position gets a large share of uh, the clicks. So one thing that, uh, that drives where people click when they, when they do click is how relevant the result looks. And um, starting towards the end of last year, uh, the end of 2010, Google started putting Sometimes they'd use on-page headings or the page title um, as the clickable link to your site in the search results. So what that allows you to do is if you make them different from each other and you target different variations of uh, the core concepts, different keywords that are somewhat related to each other, for example, um, credit card versus credit cards or, or words in different orders, it can help you appear relevant for a broader selection of keywords. So I wrote a kind of ranty post about social media being overhyped. So first I have to learn how to spell. So you can see here that if I search for how social media or social media changes everything, the listing here appears with how social media changes everything. And then it grabs this from uh, my homepage page title. But um, I wanted the post to show up for the idea of social media so important and then the opposite of it. So so if you notice, this is the same exact URL and they're showing it with uh, a page title that says the exact opposite of what the last one, the last one said how important social media was and this one says how it's not important. So you can use it for you know, pro, con, or that sort of thing. But you can also just use different word orders, words and uh, words with modifiers, different modifiers, um, abbreviations, and all sorts of things like that to help pull in a broader related um, set of traffic into your site. Uh, if you're using any uh, static HTML files, then you would just make the page title different than the on-page H1. If you're using a CMS, a lot of major CMSs have plugins, like uh, Drupal has one for page title. Uh, WordPress has one called SEO Title Tag that I use often. And then there's also uh, WordPress SEO by Yoast that does this. There's a ton of other plugins that do this, but the point is that sometimes it's worth taking an extra minute or two to look at what Google's recommending via the, um, their search suggest and using some of those ideas in your page title and your on-page heading. And if you can use uh, a couple different variations um, in each, it can help you rank for a broader array of stuff and then look relevant while um, hitting on a couple different touch points or hitting on a couple different ways people search for the topic. So I uh, hope you enjoyed this video. Have a good day.